Hey guys, welcome back to Legit Street Cars. In this video, I am flying one way from Chicago to Philadelphia to pick up my new C63 AMG. Now this car supposedly has a bad engine. It was listed that way and it doesn't run, but I don't think that it's bad. This is a 50,000 mile clean title car that I only paid $16,000 for. And if my gut is correct, I will be able to fix this car with the tools in my backpack and drive it all 800 miles back home to Chicago. Now, if I'm wrong, I'll have to get an expensive plane ticket back home, pay about $1,000 to get the car shipped and about $11,000 for a new engine. And then all of a sudden, this was a total disaster and a really bad financial decision. But my gut says that this engine is good. Well, realistically, there's about a 50% chance that this engine is bad about a 25% chance that the engine is bad but still runs and I'm able to drive it home, and then a 25% chance that it's totally fine. And now that I'm saying that out loud, I'm getting a little nervous, but there's no turning back right now. The car is already bought and paid for. I bought it sight unseen. Oh, and if you guys are curious, I did make it through the TSA checkpoint with a backpack full of car tools with no issues whatsoever. So I just have my little camera bag here and the trick is everything's gotta be under seven inches, which means I had to bring stubby wrenches and a stubby ratchet. I couldn't even bring the rail for all of the sockets because it's longer than seven inches and you always must have a random block of wood in your backpack too. I, I don't know why that's there. All right, we're in Philadelphia. I don't do any of those plane vloggy things where we're showing you the plane takeoff. We just, we just work on cars here, okay? And I have a clean Philadelphia title in my hands and two keys. So we're at Orthodox Auto Company. They were nice enough to go pick this car up and tow it here and grab the title and keys. I wire transferred the money, so I don't recommend any of this, but I did buy it sight unseen. And this is the first time we're looking at it. So let's go, let's go figure out what I bought. Oh man, there's a stack of receipts in here. No way. You know how much I love finding records. 2019 timing cover gasket. They bought the part. Are they working on this themselves? Maybe the previous owners watched some of my videos and figured they could work on a Mercedes engine themselves. You know what I'm looking for here? Does it have updated head bolts? That was a big issue here. Lifters were a big problem. Intake manifold gasket, those leaked too. Intake manifold bolts, wow, they totally did this themselves, didn't they? They bought all the parts. Oh, of course it's had engine mounts. Oh, and then look at this. It's got an updated Android Auto, probably Apple CarPlay type of thing here going on. Let's see, oil change. Front camber adjustment, that's weird. They put camber bolts in this? It's got a Passport 9500. All right, anyway, there's a bunch of receipts. We'll look at all of those here shortly. I just wanna see what the deal is with this car. It's got 56,000 miles, clean title, 2009. I really like this metallic gray color. I think it's a really nice color. And they added a little bit of carbon fiber action here with the diffuser. And other than that, it looks pretty straight. This tire is flat and I paid 16 grand for the guy and he told me it had all new tires and then after the wire went through he's like oh yeah by the way it doesn't have all new tires my brother said he put new tires on it but he just replaced the rear and I, I don't think that's the case that's what happens when you buy sight unseen people I don't recommend it cracked right here got a flat tire yeah we got the flat tire but other than that it looks like a really straight car pretty clean and uh what do you think of this ride height is it lowered it's got to be lowered man oh, I see yellow uh oh uh, I see purple I'm guessing KWs. Yeah, look at that. It had papers on them buying camber bolts, so they were probably adjusting the alignment because they lowered it maybe with some coilovers. We have a carbon fiber lip on the front. All right, let's see what we have under the hood. This is the big, gigantic question mark. So this is a junkyard, by the way, and they sell parts as well. I'll leave their information linked down below if you guys live near Philadelphia. They have a lot of junk cars, hopefully not this one. Um, but here we go. M156, naturally aspirated, 6.2 liter V8. Uh, this is a dual overhead cam engine. I had a 2009 C63 and I've made a factory defect video on this engine because there were so many issues with the old ones. And uh, basically what happened here is the guy said his brother was driving it. It started to run really bad. It was misfiring, check engine light was flashing and then it died and it wouldn't restart and when he turns the key, it just clicks. So if you guys have seen my factory defect video, comment down below what you think it is. I'll give you a few moments before I tell you. A fuel injector. I think this has a stuck open fuel injector and it hydro locked a cylinder and that's it, now it won't start. My friend Mike with the channel Auto Vlog just had this issue with his M156 C63 and he texts me about it and I'm like, dude, it's not the engine, don't condemn the engine yet. 
And sure enough, it was just a fuel injector and he's back on the road. I found your problem. What's that, Peter? It's missing this whole thing. Oh, stop it. You can't, you can't, where are you gonna find this? Where are you gonna find, where are you gonna find Oh, look at this, we got one. We got one. So the previous owner tried to sell me like a Rentec intake for a couple grand. And I'm like, nah, I don't, I don't want that. It's not worth the money. Um, but he was missing this. So we got a used one and we put it in the backpack. And I also brought a factory set of fuel injectors. Oh, and I did warn the previous owner that this could just be a stuck open fuel injector. And I even turned him onto my channel to see the factory defects, but he didn't want to take the risk and he sold it to me for 16,000. So that'll either turn out being a really good deal for me or a really good deal for him because if you had to pay for installation of the engine and the engine it'd be like fourteen fifteen thousand dollars this car's worth maybe like 27 28 ish so this is either really good or really bad basically all right if it is hydro locked place your guesses down below on which cylinder i'm gonna go with cylinder seven lucky number seven. Oh, and i forgot to mention the best part i am giving this c63 away to one of you and it's totally free to enter. You don't have to buy any t-shirts. You don't have to buy literally anything. You can't buy anything. The only way to enter this giveaway is for free. So I've partnered up with modsandmiles.com. They're the new enthusiast car auction website that I've mentioned a few times and that I've now sold my 335i on, my E39, my Rolls Royce. But here's the deal with the C63 or cash equivalent giveaway. All you have to do is go to modsandmiles.com slash giveaway. I'll leave a link down below. You can do this from your desktop or right from your cell phone. And you're gonna create a totally free account that's gonna get you 25 entries. Follow them on Facebook and Instagram for 100 entries and become a verified bidder for another 100 entries. But if you really wanna earn some points here and give yourself the best chance of winning this car, all you have to do is share a Mods and Miles link on any platform. So if you go to the bottom right hand side of your screen, you'll see this little orange share button. And right from here, you can share the site to any of these platforms or you can also get your account referral code by clicking right here and you can share that anywhere you want. And if someone signs up using your link or referral code, you're gonna get 500 entries. So Mods and Miles is a new car auction website. They simply just wanna get the word out and because of that, you can win a C63 for free. And they're adding ways you can earn entries all the time. So for example, you could share one of their cars on an enthusiast Facebook group for a quick 250 entries. And there are many other methods to win this car just listed right on the site. So definitely check out the link and win yourself a C63. Also, if you're looking to buy or sell, consider giving them a try. They've had some pretty good success with a few different cars, including all of mine, and they have some buy it now cars as well. They have some amazing live auctions going on as we speak, all sorts of different cool cars. This is an LS swapped 1991 300D. This is a Pro Charge 79 Camaro Z28, a supercharged Denali. It's totally free to list, so don't bother with Marketplace. Just send them your pictures. They have professional writers. They'll make the entire ad and share it all over the place and get your car sold. Also, check out the resources tab. You can get financing right from the website and there's no restriction on the age, miles, or modifications of the car. Enter to win this car. I'm going to be fixing it no matter if it needs an engine i'm going to make this the most reliable c63 amg in the world and then i'm going to be handing the keys to one of you guys all right so of course it's starting to rain so we really got to get going on this and i can see i don't think anyone's ever been in here before this looks like pretty old dirt to me although the intake manifold was done uh, about two years ago another very common failure on these these had a lot of issues but uh what we're looking at right now are the fuel injectors which one is it going to be if it's a fuel injector i mean it could just be a grenaded engine and the guy lied to me and he was at wide open throttle at 180 miles an hour and it blew up and he just fed me a really good story he could just be a really good actor i don't know all right i gotta stop yapping it is really starting to come down all right Peter, you down for some rain or let's what let's do it <laughs> It's better than the mo uh, the heat. Ugh. Yeah, actually, this kind of feels nice. It is really storming. Good thing you got your new boots. Oh, yeah, new boots. I went 10 years with the same boots. <laughs> Peter and I were talking about this a couple days ago. That's why I like, I love mechanics. Like, mechanics are typically the type of person that isn't too picky. We'll do whatever, like getting dirty, working out in the rain. Greasing your eyeballs. Greasing your eyeballs. You leave food with dirty hands. Who cares? 
only live once. To us, clean enough to eat off of doesn't mean anything. Yeah, like a little bit of oil never hurt anything. All right, I covered up the throttle body here, so we won't get any water in. Uh, right now, I'm just disconnecting all of the injector plugs. There we go. Which one is it? All right, well, I did find one sign that this has been messed with at some point. This coil, well, it's just snapped off and broken. That doesn't mean anything necessarily. That could have happened a long time ago. But uh, anyway, take your guesses, people. Which injector, if it's an injector? Look at this. I'm using my little stubby tool here. We just got to get tough with it. Luckily, these aren't torqued down very much. So I'm going to pull the rail up, and we'll turn the key forward, and we'll just see if one of them is totally stuck open. And whichever one that is, we'll have to pull the plug on. Ah, so I was so thirsty. <laughs> it's like Survivor, AMG edition. Yeah. All right, so this is what Peter was using to cover up the camera. It literally just stopped in the last like 30 seconds. Not raining at all. Uh, so sorry for the noise. There's rain hitting this. Look at this. It's flooding. Now we have a flooded area to work in. This is great. Ooh, this is a much better camera protector. There we go. That is a lot better than a piece of cardboard. Oh, yeah, go wash it off. There we go. If it starts raining again, we're covered. It's a detail video now. So this is a thumbnail right here. Tote bin's first wash in 10 years. Oh yeah, get it. Good thing I got the waterproof boots. Look at the sky. It's beautiful out now. Philly, you're just like Chicago. I love you. One day it's like snowing, one day it's 80 degrees, raining, not raining. All right, we got the last bolt here for the rail. Alex, are we in West Philadelphia? In West Philadelphia, born and raised on the playground is where I spent most of my days. What was it, chilling out, maxing and chilling or something? I don't know, I don't remember the rest. <laughs> Are you even 90s? Fresh Prince, I grew up on that. I don't know though, I don't know if we're in West Philadelphia. I have no idea. We just got a ride here from the airport, no clue where we are. All right, here we go, popping up the injectors. Wow, look at what's inside of there, Peter. That's where I just removed the bolt. It looks all goopy like they filled it with something. It's kind of weird. Let's pop our rail up. Very nice, it's coming up, all right. There we go. You always kind of want to grab the body of the injector when you're doing this. You don't want to break the clips or bend them or anything. So just take your time, this usually comes up easy. Since they did the intake two years ago, it's not all that frozen in there. Okay, so what we want to do here is lift up the rail and we're keeping the fuel line connected. So now we can turn the ignition forward, we'll prime the fuel rail with pressure from the pump. And if one of these is stuck open, we'll see it coming out because right now it's not connected to any of the electrical connectors. So these injectors should definitely be closed. So you said seven, cylinder seven, that yeah, one? Yeah, so my, my guess is that one. Let me know down below which one you guys think it is. And you said that because you think seven is lucky? Yeah, lucky number seven. In Japanese, seven, shichi, means like the jaws of death. So you Why did not- You could you, you could have warned me of that, Peter. No, I want to see you fail. Uh, <laughs> all right, lucky number seven or the jaws of death. One of the two. If this engine is bad on number seven, it's all your fault. It's your Japanese folklore. And that spread the juju yeah, over it. Yeah, yeah, you spread something on there, I don't know. All right, so I just wanna say, this is moment of truth number one. So hopefully it is a stuck open injector. That's the first thing we have to get past. And then we wanna hope that it didn't bend a rod. So sometimes when the cylinder fills with fuel, it can bend the rod because a liquid can't be compressed. So that's what happens when you hydro lock an engine, whether it's from sucking up water from a big puddle or from fuel. Now in my experience, and you guys probably saw this in my V12 series, I had an injector stick open to the point where we tried starting it and the starter was smoking. And I'm like, no. And really at that point it's starter versus rod. And some starters can win. And I think most of the time the rod wins. So in that case we were fine. Uh, I've seen three other M156 cars where they have survived and I have seen one with a bent rod that still ran. So you never know, you never know. Anyway, Peter, are you ready to turn that ignition on? I am ready to go. All right, what did, what did you say number seven is? Chi Chi? Chi Chi. Chi Chi. All right, no Chi Chi or whatever. No, no, let's, let, I wanna see fuel though. I do wanna see fuel right now. All right, Peter, let's do this. You got the key to position two? Uh, try it again, maybe it lost its prime. We're getting no fuel at all. So that means none of them are leaking? Oh no, that's not good. That's not good at all. I wanna see one of these leaking, otherwise we're in bad shape. So at this point, it doesn't look like any of the injectors are leaking, but I just wanna verify that we actually have fuel pressure in the rail. So we'll pop off this little cap for the Schrader valve. And we're a little bit low on tools, so we just need something to poke at this. Please, that fuel pressure, or don't. I don't know which one I want. Oh, it's got it. 
Oh, it's got it. Let's let's turn the key a few more times. Here, I don't know, maybe I go like this. All right, let's just try it again. He's gonna turn the key a bunch more times to position two to prime the fuel pump. Come on, spray out. So I didn't want to crank the engine over. I'm sure the previous owner did a million times, but I don't want to do that until I pull plugs and see if there's a cylinder that's hydro locked. But uh, yeah, this isn't good. Normally if this was stuck open, they would be squirting out. It could be an intermittent issue though. It's possible, but we got nothing here. Great. How many times did you do it? That was four cycles. Four, okay. Um, let's pull some plugs. All right, let's just start with the easiest ones. There's really not like a common cylinder where the injector sticks because it could be any one of them. Ah, oh, this one's stripped. Oh, I got it. Woo, could be an intermittent injector thing. I'm like in disbelief that it's not an injector right now. This really stinks. I wanna see it leak fuel. It's still pressurized, we just primed it again. Could be intermittent. Come on, nothing, nothing. This isn't good guys. This could just be a grenaded engine. That, that's happened before on these two. All right, we'll pull out our first spark plug. So you can't fly in the plane with anything over seven inches, I believe it is. So we had to take a bunch of little extensions and build a long one. So now we can take out our spark plugs. This engine was hand built and we're hand disassembling it. So I didn't want to bring any of the electric power tools, although I think those are allowed? I don't know, I didn't want to risk it. This stinks, doing this by hand. It's gonna take forever. What is this, like 1998? We're working with hand tools? Spark plug number one, it is a Mercedes plug. It looks to be in excellent condition. Uh, NGKR, these were probably replaced. We gotta look through the receipts, but that looks really good. All right, we got a uh, TRX it just pulled in. That's kind of cool. And here is spark plug number two. Another really nice one. Uh, no fuel whatsoever. Honestly, it looks practically new. All right, we got number seven coming out, or chi, or chi chai, or however you say that in Japanese. Cheat, 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 cheat. What do you look like? You look fine. No fuel whatsoever. All right, it wasn't. What, what was the thing, Peter? It's the, the jaws uh, of death. The jaws of death didn't get us this time, Peter. All right. We escaped you, Jaws of Death. Cheat, cheat. We cheated you. I'm a little nervous now that this is not hydro locked. I, uh, I checked the oil, and usually when they get hydro locked, the fuel gets in the crankcase, and it shows a higher reading on the dipstick. Let me let me show you. There we go. Yeah, it's, it's a little overfilled, but nothing too crazy. Yeah, and it just smells like oil. Doesn't really smell like fuel. Okay. Cheat, cheat might be coming after me here. Did you just snack? I found this on the ground. Oh. Yeah, thanks. Oh, hey, it, it's never been opened. Like, you could literally eat this and it's Hey, you remember what you were saying about mechanics? Eating a little bit of dirt? Hey, let's Challenge. No. It's, it's been sealed. No. Come on. I'm not that, I'm not that tough. No way. <laughs> what, are you allergic to almonds? <laughs> yes. And it's still good. February 2023. We could clean this up, make it cold again, and it's fine. Yeah, this one. Isn't fun, but overall, these are easy plugs to do. Don't pay anyone to replace spark plugs on your M156. You guys can do this at home too. Very simple. A T30 and your spark plug socket and that's it. And actually, like having multiple extensions is really nice because if you had a long one, you couldn't fit it in here. You have to kind of build it up like that. Please be fuel on the plug. Please be fuel on the plug. I want to see a part failure. That would mean, mean a lot to me right now. Come on now. It would mean roughly $10,000 if this thing would have fuel on it. Well, that's step one. No, it's perfect. Uh, we're 50% of the way through here with no bad spark plugs, with no fuel, and with the injectors not being stuck open. Can we have like a live percentage running like in poker, sh like poker shows where you see the percentage changing as they deal the cards? What percentage do you think we're at? I mean, we started off pretty darn low. I mean, we have to be at a 20% or yeah, 15 yeah, percent no, probably I chance we're, we're dying there. we're dying and finding the fuel in there is just really step one because it could still be oh it is open you opened it i opened it, it by wasn't. slamming it on there don't do that peter that is gross no no it's no still, it's still good oh that I, is gross i'm gonna find an almond oh no <laughs> almonds are good for you it's like a health food it's, oh it's like a salad right yes this oh peter oh my gosh do almond. No. There's one left for you in there. I just, I hope whatever you just did there grants us the amount of luck that we need with this engine. All right, worst case, we have a really good smelling engine with chocolate spewed all over it. All right, here's our fifth spark plugs. 
Oh, oh, our fifth one. It's wet. It smells like fuel. <laughs> it smells like glorious, glorious fuel. Oh, that's awesome. Peter, smell, smell it. What does it smell like? It smells like air. It smells like air. Oh, it's... that's right. Peter got a thing two years ago and he can't smell. So, yeah. Allergies? Allergies, that's what it was. All right, so we're just gonna check them all anyway uh, before we start cranking this over to, to uh, you know, get the that, fuel to come out. That's shiny. Oh, that is shiny. What's up with that? Even I can smell the fuel on that one. Get out of here. Yeah, you're right. This one smells like fuel too. Dude, that doesn't make any sense. Like the chances of two injectors sticking open is very rare, especially since none of them are sticking open right now. Why, why did this have to happen? I was good with just one, that would make sense. And now we have two, that doesn't make sense. And they're both on this bank, but that doesn't matter. What if all the crap from the fuel went to this side? Like, And it just made all these stick? Yeah, like that side was bad. I don't know. I don't think so, Peter. Comments in the section. Comments in the section, that's right. <laughs> and the tool gods hath deigned that we can use the power tools. <laughs> Oh, and check it out, the guys let me borrow a power tool. Okay, this spark plug, which had the broken coil, completely loose. That's very strange. There is a lot of strange stuff going on here in the last, like, roughly 10 minutes. I'm not liking it. I just wanted the one injector to be stuck open. We swap them out, change the oil, and we just get some Philly cheesesteaks and go to Chicago. Is that too much to ask? Okay, this one's fine. Yeah, I mean, it's got a little, little something, but no, this one's good. Does it taste fuely? It's the first time I've ever tasted a spark plug and it tastes totally good. Like, it just tastes like metal. I've eaten a lot of metal. What flavor engine is this, Alex? It's vanilla. I think it's a vanilla engine. Vanilla with chocolate drizzle? Vanilla with chocolate drizzle, yeah. Oh wait, who made this one? We have to pronounce the uh, the guy who made it. I always butcher this. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna say it and then you say it. Allure de zu de zu Davik, Dzudavik, or is it Am so Amir Dzudavik or Azul Dzudavik? I have no clue what that says. Julius Zudjavik, Dzudjavik. Oh, this one's loose too. Someone did not tighten the spark plugs on this engine. Is that this guy? No, I don't think it's Juju Dzudjavik. I think it was whoever did the intake manifold, or hopefully it wasn't the last mechanic who told the guy that this engine was totally screwed and then slapped everything back together last minute because he didn't care. Hopefully it wasn't that. Oh, this plug is good. All right, so we got two no, fuel. No, it's good. What? Oh, 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 sorry, I thought I saw the shining around the threads. It is, it is, but you know what, it's rain. It's been raining, it's yeah, water, yeah, yeah. it's water, yeah. it's water. We have only, I'm just gonna pretend we only have one that had fuel on it. Yeah. So at this point, Peter is gonna crank the engine and if it is what I think it is, that means Fuel will come out of the spark plug psh, psh, hole. Yeah. Yep. And if we have, psh, 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 we're good. If we have, ga, 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 ga. we're bad. All right, let's just hope this engine's okay. All right, Peter, give me some good sounds here. here no. It's locked, dude. You gotta be kidding me. I mean, it, it could be a bad starter. So this very well could just be a weak battery. Um, everything lit up in there really nicely, but it doesn't take that much power to do that. So. We got to uh, get a jumper on here. I wasn't able to bring that with me, so we got to go see if we can borrow one. All right, so this is what we got going on in the trunk. Three quarts of oil. I don't really like to see that. And then we put the air boxes back here. Oh, we got a nice Mercedes battery, though. That's a good sign. They let us borrow a charger. It's about halfway. So we'll see what happens. Please spin over. Please spin over. Please spin over. Here we go. Let's do this. No, don't do that. You're supposed to just be a stuck open injector. Oh man, this is not good. Man, that crank doesn't even wanna try and turn at all. We're just gonna keep on going just in case there is a starter issue. Sometimes you can jar it just by trying to start it a few times. But I don't even know if the engine is locked at all. Like the crank doesn't even try to move at all, nothing. Oh, wait a minute, a little little movement there. Uh, well, it's funny you mentioned that because we just turned it over or tried to and it won't turn over, it's clicking so. We might be in bad shape here. You need, a, you need more of a charge in the back? Nah. I like your, I like your optimism. Let's put it that way. <laughs> All right, guys. So luckily, my friends from Modern Masters took a three-hour drive with their Super Duty and a trailer and some more tools um, because I'd have to go to a parts store to get a breaker bar long enough to try and turn the crank. And they're like, you know what? 
we'll just come by anyway. So we're going both ways with it. All right, so here we go. Oh no. So yeah, this engine is, this engine's locked up. Nothing. Nothing there. You said, you said this had 50,000 miles on it? It's got 56,000 miles, yeah. Wow. I'm just gonna go the other way and whatever. Did that move? Oh, yeah, yeah, the crank moved. The crank moves in the other direction. Well, it did, and now it's like locked again. The last C63 I bought, the guy sold me because he thought the head bolts were bad because they had a low coolant light on. And it was literally this little plastic nipple that breaks off the thermostat housing. All right, so we got it to turn, but it stops right at the same exact spot. I mean, it's gotta be a goner. They brought a boroscope too, so let's, let's see what we can see. All right, so we're boroscoping. We don't have my normal equipment here. Um, I know it's kind of hard to tell, but that just looks like a normal piston. Nothing too crazy. All right, so we'll do a second one here on this bank, and yeah, that piston is all the way up, right? Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell. Okay. Uh, yeah, this wouldn't be one of my videos if we didn't have some kind of strange bug making an appearance. Red wings. That is a mean-looking bug, dude. Like, that thing is, it's killed bugs before. It's got a guilty conscience. All right, so now we're in another one. What do we got going on here? What is going on? That does not look normal. That is the top of the piston. And that looks like it is cracked. It's blown apart. Yeah, that piston does not look good. I know, I'm sorry guys, it's really hard to see on camera because I'm recording another cell phone and just the resolution is horrible. It's one of those cheapo ones. Yeah, that does not look good at all. I think this piston is cracked. It could have hydro locked and cracked the piston. That's possible. We didn't have any fuel in that one, but that would kind of make sense. The fuel went away in the cracks. So here we are guys, uh, another AMG car. Another engine project. The last one was on the V12, although that was for a $1 O-ring that took like 100 hours of labor to fix. Uh, this one needs a complete motor. There usually isn't too much you can save if you crack a piston and it destroys the cylinder. I mean, you could sleeve it and get crazy if you want, but uh, this might be just kind of a good time to buy a used engine and then uh, fix some head bolts or do some other stuff while it's on the stand. I don't know why I'm thinking so far ahead. This stinks. I really wanted to drive this home. My whole plan was like, we're gonna fix this in like a few hours, go get Philly cheesesteak, you know, hang out in Philadelphia, stay overnight. Uh, we're gonna go hang out with my buddy Jason at Rescue Rebuild, which I think we should do anyway. And then we're gonna head out in the morning to Chicago. And now, uh, Craig? Well, what are you, you gonna drive? Can you tow this to your shop? I, I guess... Uh, he brought the trailer. He brought the trailer. He had no I, faith. I had faith. He had faith. Okay, he had faith. But, but his, why not bring the trailer? Know. He's got a super duty. I brought some BRP stuff and yeah. some, some tunes. Yeah, but... he brought he brought 630 cc injectors from BRP and a tune from VRP. So if the motor was good, we were literally going to modify it on the road. And that has all gone down the tube. And now the plane tickets to get back are like a thousand dollars or more because it's last minute. So I think we're going to go on Facebook Marketplace and buy a five hundred dollar beater and drive that to Chicago. This so, tow bill shouldn't be too bad. I'll get it right back to Modern Masters. And thank then, you, uh, thank you. I'll pick you up at the airport and we'll Appreciate throw, it. throw a motor in this thing. <laughs> We're looking up beaters on Facebook Marketplace right now, sitting in some air conditioning finally in Craig's truck. But uh, you know, you win some, you lose some. Like this guy probably knew what happened. Uh, that was the ignition coil that was cracked with the bolt loose on it. And uh, he probably had someone come out and they boroscoped it, found a cracked piston and then he just kind of played dumb, which is fine, which is fine. I mean, anytime you buy a car with a bad engine, private party, it's your fault. Everything just go through life thinking that everything is your fault and you'll be fine. So, you know, I take full responsibility for this. I took a gamble. I would have happily driven away and had replaced, you know, just some injectors and had a good car for $16,000, or I knew it could go this route where now I'm gonna have to get like a $10,000 motor and then do the head bolts probably and all that stuff. So we'll have like 12, 13, probably really when it's all done and said, plus the cost of the car. So like, you know, I'll probably have, I'll probably end up having like 30 grand into the C63. It's not worth that much less than that. It's probably worth roughly that. Um, but still, this a uh, little disappointing, a little disappointing, but at least you guys can learn from my mistakes. Not that you haven't already, because I've made a lot of them. And I also warn you guys all the time, don't buy sight unseen. Always get a pre-purchase inspection. You know, for me, if this kind of stuff happens, I make more videos. I get to show you guys now how to do head bolts, cam adjusters, and all sorts of cool stuff. And we're going to have a blast. And then someone's going to win this car. But for the normal everyday person that doesn't do YouTube, this would this would be devastating. All right, so right now we're looking for literally an under $1,000 reliable car. 
The smart car. The smart car. I'm not spending 7,500 bucks at a smart car. No way. That's a Mercedes logo. That's though. gross. Ooh, a thousand bucks. Urgent sale. Honda. What is that? Due to the Facebook maintenance still in progress, I don't receive your message. Okay, great. Whatever. 139,000. Runs like new. New tires. Clean title. Good condition in and out. No leaks. Everything works. What? That's a scam. That's a scam. No way a nice accord oh, like that. Oh, the email address right in the Yeah, first right. That's a scam. Oh, you guys got to check this out. The Saturn? If I ever seen anything that needs an electric turbo, look at that thing. Oh, by the way, guys, I have an electric turbo that I want to do some video experiments with. So I'm like, if we're going to buy a car out here, we might as well get one that I could put this electric turbo on. Look at the spoiler on that. That thing's popping a willy. <laughs> it front mount intercooler already in there. What? Let's see. 93 Saturn SC2 full race car, full ground kit with rear whale tail. Wow. Has NOS and turbo. 1.9 four cylinder, pushing over 400 horsepower. Nice car and the horn whistles. That has got to be a fake ad. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> All right, well, we're just going to go ahead and rest this back in here our fuel rail does it really matter how okay that's that's good enough luckily they have the trailer the super duty a winch seriously the guys from modern masters are saving the day right now um i'd have to ship this back to chicago for probably a thousand bucks and we're just going to bring it to their shop in west virginia so i'm going to leave their info down below if you guys need any Mercedes work, repair work, performance work. You guys kind of do a little bit of everything, right? We, we do it all. And they do it right. Are we going to make it, Alex? I, I don't know, man. I, I don't know if I even really care okay. at this point. Yeah. Uh, it should be okay. Let's get in there. We're going to be okay. This carbon fiber was already damaged. I'll have to fix it anyway. I'm going to make this car perfect, guys. We're giving it away. It's not going to be in this condition. It's going to be phenomenal when I'm done with it. 56,000 mile clean title. I love the color. I actually really do like the carbon fiber there. Well, we can't leave Philly without getting a Philly cheesesteak. So we got the C63 all loaded up. And my guy Jason is from Philadelphia and he told us we got to hit up Gino's. I got Philly cheesesteak juice on my new boots. I mean, I guess if I was a boot and I wanted to be broken in with something. Yeah, it's not bad. I, I take it. For four people, for four cheesesteaks, fries, and four drinks. I think I just spent like 85 bucks. Inflation, it's real, even in Philly. Oh yeah, look at that. We might need a $10,000 AMG engine, but it's all worth it now. Peter, what is your phone doing? I have no idea. This just starting to freak it out? Yeah. <laughs> that is insane. It's shushing what? us. Dude, look at this. Are you kidding me? That is awesome. Wow, nice. Platinum Super Duty too. This is a Platinum, right, Craig? Yeah, yeah. yeah right. Yeah. Wait, was that? Was that <laughs> oh, because it's got no AC controls back here. So, you know. I'll just pull over and see if I'm the guy with the inch wheels has rear AC controls. <laughs> stop making I can't, this. What, I can't what make it stop. It doesn't. It does what it wants. All right, guys, we got the C63 over here at the Rebuild Rescue Hangar. Awesome. What's so up, my brother? friend Jason is here. I already showed him the car. He used to have one. Uh, they're, they're so awesome, and I'm just finding out that I can win a C63. No, so I'm no, really... no, no, no. You can't. I said no. There's a YouTuber clause. Oh. No geez. YouTubers. But he can win it. I'm winning right. it. <laughs> nice. There we go. And he'll share it with me, right? <laughs> That's right. Oh, Jason already I'm said right as, soon, as soon as we get it running, he's going to allow us to rip it down the runway here, even though it would risk him ever being able to use it again. It's worth so I, it, right? I think you only get one <laughs> chance to do it and you gotta keep going okay. when you get to the end of the <laughs> We'll runway. make it worth it. We'll see what the top speed is. <laughs> Dude, this is so cool. We got a jet taking off right in front of us. Come on, dude. You can do it. Oh, now he's ballooning. No, stop ballooning. I just learned that that phrase. You got it, dude. You got it. You're right there. You're right there. Come on, dude. Just let off the throttle. You'll be fine. Ah, uh, he's taking off again. All right. That was close. He landed. Wait, he landed? Oh, look at that. He did it. He's somewhere. Might be on some grass or something, but. I kind of don't want to go inside. Yeah. Because I've never seen an airplane here anyway, <laughs> like that out of control. Dude. Yeah, so this is the hangar. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. This is amazing. So how long had this one been sitting around for? Uh, this one was sitting for 15 years. Just outside? Outside. Just neglected? Yep. Wow. Yeah, so it, it took us, uh, I think we had like 160 hours in it, getting it flying again and then flew it back. Is it just a little nerve wracking on that first flight? Or? It's a little nerve wracking. It's a, little it's a lot of nerve wracking. But this one actually, um, you should like it. It's got a Renault actually designed the interior. Wow, I was gonna say, it looks, it looks very car-like in yeah. here just at first glance. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? This is so cool. <laughs> so you wow. think this will make it to Chicago? Wow, this is unbelievable, guys. So cool. I mean, look at the buttons. I have no idea what's going on here. I, I don't either. So. <laughs> I mean, it never ends. Look at this stuff. This is wild. So this is for the machine gun right here. Yeah, yeah. Don't you? We're not supposed to show. Oh yeah. Sorry, gun. Peter. Move out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is the infamous 401. So this would have been probably the fourth project on the channel. Okay. Um, you know that we had, and and this is. Uh, it's, it's getting restored. Like it's literally, like we're literally restoring this thing. And where do you find parts for something like this? Um, you have to either have them made from the manufacturer on like a back order type thing, or um, find used parts like this airplane here. And if you look, I mean, we have like parts on the ground underneath it because they're so big, like for lack of place to put it, we have the whole rear of the plane uh, un unassembled. We have the engines out, like everything's getting overhauled. It's getting a complete like revamp custom interior. Um, the whole airplane's getting painted, overhauled engines. So we'll probably have about a half million dollars in this airplane when it's done. I, I think the most interesting thing with this airplane is the mission we have for it. So, um, you know, as we were working in this airplane and we did end up getting it for free, you know, the, uh, so many of the viewers got like into what was, what the mission turned out to be, which is doing like angel flights, uh, animal rescue flights and, uh, veterans like missions, honor missions flights, uh, to help veterans, you know, and so many of the viewers were like, you know, wow, I just want to be involved. And we, we've got over a GoFundMe that is now up to like $220,000. It's going to be really cool like when it's done so i don't i'm not gonna want to like see it go anywhere so I, we're just gonna do missions until i can't fly anymore and then someone else is gonna have to do it so check out rebuild rescue guys he is gonna be in chicago we're gonna be working on an austin healy I can't wait. I can't wait. uh soon so we're gonna be doing some collaboration in chicago check him out we're uh gonna hit the road we gotta try and find some kind of beater to drive back nice. Man, yeah. i can't believe you can take tug yeah <laughs> some max speed there <laughs> All right, later, Jason. I'll talk, talk to you. To See you guys. Thanks, man. All right, guys, it's the next morning, and we are at Modern Masters, where the C63 will be for at least a couple months while we wait for an engine. And these guys have some ridiculous stuff. So a 212 E63 with the M156 and VRP's new supercharger system. So this is a Whipple supercharger. It is gigantic. This looks so, so mean. And I think these are being released to the public pretty soon. So eventually I'm gonna get another M156 car that I'm gonna keep and it's definitely getting one of these. I'm not exactly sure if Craig did an entire Hellcat engine swap on this older charger but it definitely has a Hellcat blower. All right, so when I fly in to replace the engine on the C63, I will be doing it right here at the Modern Masters shop with the beautiful American flag, the biggest American flag I think I've ever seen in captivity. <laughs> it, it was a hard one to put up there. But, Seriously, that's huge. But it's, it's beautiful. Before we end the video, I just, I gotta show everybody this. This is, this is hilarious. How old were you guys? Uh, I think like 23, 24 when we did that. <laughs> Uh, the hair is not real though. Although it does look real, it is not real. I can't end the video without showing you this. This is a 2006 ML500. So this was the only year of the 164 chassis ML that got the M113 naturally aspirated engine, but Craig is a madman and he put my old E55 AMG wagon supercharger on this engine. This is probably the only 164 chassis ML500 that is now supercharged and it has the seven speed transmission out of the ML63. So these had seven speeds, but that one's a little bit stronger. So a very, very unique SUV. All right, so we're gonna unload the C63 and then Peter and I are flying back home to Chicago. The last couple of days have just been kind of a big mess, obviously with the C63 engine 
but then we could not find a cheap, cool car to drive back to Chicago. We looked all day yesterday and just nothing was working out. Something's going on with my eye. I've gotten like no sleep in the last couple days and you just gotta know when to fold them. So luckily we waited on the airfare and it did come down a little bit. So we got two tickets for a total of $500. So not too bad. I just, I just wanna go home, get some sleep. We have a ton of Fox Body stuff to do and then all the other projects at the shop. So uh, we will be back here at Modern Master soon. I'll be installing the engine, taking apart the old engine. We got a lot of good C63 content coming up and then it will be given away. So check out the giveaway link down below. It is free to enter, so go do that right now. Uh, and if you like this video, if you like to see the real world of cars where not everything you see on TV or on YouTube works out, then give this video a big thumbs up, share the video with your friends, subscribe if you haven't already, and most importantly, have an awesome day. I'm gonna go take a rip in one of Craig's really fast car, so I'll probably splice that footage in like right right now. Look at that seven gears in an E55. This thing is ridiculous. That seven speed is so nice.